A typical family of four in Florida might use 100,000 gallons of water a year just inside the house. Today we're going to show you some ways to save water and money. Conserving water starts right here at your water meter. This is how the utility figures out how much to charge you for the water you use every month. But for you and I, we can use this to figure out a way to track down leaks in our house. Let me show you how. Inside the water meter box, you've got a dial face. and the center of that dial, there's a little white triangle. And that little white triangle will move if any water is being used in the house. The main dial reads in 1,000 gallons, so you'll never track a leak that way. So if you see that little white triangle moving, you've got a leak somewhere. So let's go inside the house and see what we can find out. One of the largest uses of water uh, in your house is right here in the bathroom. It's our toilets. Frequently, you can also find our leaks there uh, also. What we have is a tank that fills full of water and you flush that. And often, that tank, there's a flapper valve in the bottom that gets old and starts to leak. And what we can do is find that leak by using a little blue pill. We're going to take the blue pill and put it in our tank. Now, when we shake that blue pill in there, that will dissolve turning the water blue and any leak between the flapper valve and the bowl will show up as blue water. So now the next step is to wait 15 minutes for that to dissolve. Okay, our 15 minutes are up. Let's take a look. Oh gosh, we got blue water in the bowl. That means we have a leak between the tank and the bowl. We can fix that flapper valve, replace that, saving a lot of money and water. But another thing we need to look at is the fact that this is a low flow toilet. Now there's a logo on the back of the toilet that says it's 1.6 gallons per flush, and that is a low flow toilet. But you know, here we are in the bathroom and we're not done yet. Another big user of water in the bathroom is our shower. Let's take a look. This is not a low flow shower head. It might be comfortable, but it's an extensive use of water in our house. The low flow shower head requirement is for a two and a half gallons per minute flow rate maximum. And this is a low flow shower head, and you can save a lot of money, especially on hot water, by replacing them. Older aerators like this one might use four, maybe even five gallons per minute of water. We can replace that with low flow uh, aerators for our kitchen that use 2.2 gallons per minute. Some of them even swiveling are great for kitchen use. So making these simple changes can reduce your water consumption by 50%. That also reduces your bill by 50%, saving you a lot of money. Mm -hmm.